U.S. is in an almost invisible arms race. Fully operational, directed energy weapon. It destroys targets with an intense beam of light. In recent years, China and Russia have been making significant strides in military technology, causing the United States to keep a watchful eye on the evolving global landscape. The development of advanced weaponry and cutting-edge defense systems by these nations has undoubtedly raised the stakes in the world of international security. Amidst this backdrop of heightened competition, the U.S. Navy has made a groundbreaking announcement. They announced that they have successfully tested the most powerful weapon in the world. This rem- remarkable feat marks a significant milestone in the realm of military capabilities and has sparked widespread intrigue and speculation. But what exactly is this revolutionary weapon, and what does it signify for the delicate balance of power on the world stage? Join us as we discuss how the U.S. Navy just fired the world's most powerful direct energy weapon. Before we go into details, we need to first explain why this announcement is important. China's military has been undergoing a period of rapid modernization and expansion in recent years. This growth encompasses various areas, including its nuclear arsenal, conventional forces, and technological advancements. One particularly intriguing development is China's focus on high-energy laser weapons. A recent breakthrough in cooling technology for high-energy lasers is particularly noteworthy. Traditionally, heat buildup has been a major obstacle in developing practical laser weapons. Chinese researchers claim their new technology allows for continuous operation without overheating. If proven effective, this could be a game-changer, paving the way for a new generation of laser weaponry. Analysts suggest that China's focus on laser weapons is partly driven by the growing prevalence of drones in modern warfare. Drones offer a cost-effective and versatile tool for surveillance and attack missions. However, they are also vulnerable to electronic countermeasures and traditional air defenses. Laser weapons, with their precise targeting and potential for long-range engagement, could offer a powerful countermeasure against drone swarms. China's military expansion and laser weapon development comes at a time of heightened regional tensions, disputes over territory in the South China Sea, and the status of Taiwan remains a flashpoint for potential conflict. These developments raise concerns about an arms race in the region with potential consequences for international security and stability. This is why the U.S. Navy's recent announcement is very significant. They needed to come up with something that could counter China's laser weapon system, and they've done just that. The U.S. Navy just took a big leap toward a future with laser-powered defenses. They successfully tested a brand new laser weapon system on the USS Portland in the Pacific Ocean. This is a major step forward in their plan to use high-powered lasers to defend ships from modern threats. The system being tested is called the LWSD Mark II Mod Zero, a mouthful of a name for a powerful laser. It builds on the success of earlier projects like the LAWS system, which was tested on the USS Ponce in 2014. Back then, LAWS showed that lasers had real potential to become practical ship defenses. This latest test comes at a critical time. Operations like Prosperity Guardian and Aspeeds see coalition forces constantly under attack from drones and missiles. These attacks are expensive to defend against with traditional weapons, and the Navy is looking for better solutions. Lasers offer a promising alternative. They can potentially fire endlessly as long as there's power, making them much more cost-effective in the long run. The Navy's new laser weapon is a game-changer because it's much cheaper to use than traditional missile defense systems. Traditional systems fire expensive rockets to shoot down missiles, but lasers can potentially fire constantly as long as they have power. This could save a lot of money in the long run. The successful test of the LWSD laser is a big jump forward for the Navy. It means they're getting closer to having a powerful and cost-effective way to defend their ships. The Navy is actually already putting different laser systems on different ships depending on what the laser is best at. For example, big San Antonio-class ships have a super-strong 150-kilowatt laser on board. Other destroyers have a system called Odin that can temporarily blind enemies with light, and another destroyer has a system called Helios that combines a laser with a blinding light and a camera system. All of this shows that the Navy is serious about using new laser tech to keep their ships safe. 
However, the Navy's pursuit of advanced laser weapon systems does not end there. Unlike existing systems focused on counterintelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, or CISR, by either dazzling or destroying unmanned aerial systems, Hellcap is tailored to thwart anti-ship cruise missiles in a unique crossing scenario. This distinctive capability means that ships equipped with Hellcap can effectively defend against missiles that are on a trajectory intersecting with nearby friendly vessels. This targeted approach serves to significantly bolster the defensive posture of naval assets, ensuring enhanced protection against potential missile threats in specific operational scenarios. The genesis of Hellcap can be traced back to 2019, following the successful conclusion of the ruggedized high-energy lasers RHEL Phase 1. The program's overarching objective is to lay the foundation for future advancements by tackling key technical challenges that have historically posed obstacles to the effective deployment of laser weapons. One of the primary focal points of Hellcap is the refinement of advanced laser beam control, a critical aspect that directly influences the precision and efficacy of laser-based defensive measures. Additionally, the program aims to address the impact of atmospheric turbulence on laser weapon systems, ensuring their reliable performance even in challenging environmental conditions. Furthermore, Hellcap seeks to enhance precision tracking capabilities in high-clutter environments, where the ability to accurately identify and engage targets amidst complex operational settings is paramount. This represents a significant advancement in the realm of defensive technologies as it empowers naval assets with the capability to effectively navigate and neutralize threats in diverse and dynamic maritime environments. Another key area of emphasis for Hellcap is automatic target identification and aim points selection, streamlining the process of engaging potential threats with unparalleled speed and accuracy. By automating these critical functions, Hellcap aims to significantly reduce response times and enhance the overall effectiveness of laser-based defensive measures, further fortifying the defensive capabilities of naval vessels. This laser weapon testbed will be moved to the White Sands Missile Range, or WSMR, where it will be conducting system verification testing this year. At White Sands, the LWT will begin its round of testing by assessing the system's beam control, tracking, and the Adaptive Optics Subsystems Performance. At the heart of the laser weapon testbed is a powerful 300-plus kilowatt-class laser made possible through the Office Secretary of Defense's High Energy Laser Scaling Initiative. This initiative has provided funding to industry teams to deliver cutting-edge laser technology, paving the way for the integration of this powerful laser source into the LWT. In addition to the formidable laser source, the LWT will also feature a prototype beam control testbed developed by the Navy as well as a prototype control system. These elements will be seamlessly integrated into an auxiliary prime power and cooling system, ensuring the optimal performance of the laser weapon testbed. The next phase of this groundbreaking project involves moving the laser weapon testbed to the White Sands Missile Range, WSMR, where it will undergo rigorous system verification testing. This testing will encompass a comprehensive assessment of the system's beam control, tracking, and adaptive optics subsystem's performance, marking a crucial step in the development of this cutting-edge technology. Following the completion of major component and subsystem testing, the Navy will commence testing the laser weapon testbed against targets of increasing complexity. This will include evaluations against static ground targets, dynamic moving ground targets, and ultimately interception of low-cost unmanned aerial targets and cruise missile surrogates. These tests will showcase the versatility and effectiveness of the laser weapon testbed in real-world scenarios. As the program progresses, it is poised to serve as the foundation for enhancing the Navy's future systems, particularly the Surface Navy Laser Weapon System, SNLWS, Increment 1 Helios. The invaluable insights gained from the LWT will inform and shape the development of these follow-on systems, further solidifying the Navy's position at the forefront of laser weapon technology. Looking ahead, while there are currently no plans for leave-behind assets or prototypes for integration, into ships, the impact of the laser weapon testbed on future naval capabilities cannot be overstated. Its successful development and testing represents a significant leap forward in harnessing the power of high-energy
high-energy lasers for defense and security applications. The U.S. Air Force is also developing a laser weapon system called LANCE, Laser Advancements for Next Generation Compact Environments. This system is part of a larger program called SHIELD, which aims to equip fighter jets with laser defenses. LANCE is a big deal because it's much smaller and lighter than previous laser weapons. Lockheed Martin built it to be the most compact and lightweight laser of its power level. This is a major breakthrough that will allow the Air Force to put lasers on fighter jets for the first time. Imagine a fighter jet that can shoot down drones and missiles with a beam of light. Lance is so small because of its advancements in laser technology. Just a few years ago, laser weapons for the Army were much bigger and heavier. The Air Force credits this progress to the Robust Electric Laser Initiative Program, which focuses on making lasers more practical for military use. The SHIELD program isn't just about Lance. It also includes a targeting system built by Northrop Grumman that helps aim the laser precisely. Finally, Boeing developed a special pod that attaches to the jet and holds the entire laser system. These three parts work together to make Lance a powerful and compact weapon, a major step forward in laser defense technology. An Air Force official, Kent Wood, is excited about the Lance system and the technology behind it. He says that Lance and the other parts that work with it, like the targeting system in the pod, are the most powerful and compact laser weapons ever built. This is a big deal because it means lasers are finally small and light enough to be put on fighter jets. Lance also needs less power than older laser weapons, which is important for fighter jets. Fighter jets don't have a lot of extra space for power supplies, so a low-power laser is a better fit. This successful development of Lance is a big step forward for defense, and it might even lead to powerful lasers that can attack enemy planes and drones in the future. Just think about a fighter jet that can shoot down missiles and drones with a laser beam from long distances. If Lance works well for defense, it could be the first step towards these even more powerful lasers. This would make the U.S. military much better at stopping threats like fast missiles, whether they're fired from the ground or from enemy airplanes. One of the U.S.'s allies, the U.K., also just showed off their impressive new laser weapon, Dragonfire. This laser fires a super strong beam of light that travels as fast as anything in the universe. It's so accurate that it can hit a tiny target from over a kilometer away, making it nearly impossible to dodge. They released a video showing Dragonfire in action at a remote location in Scotland. The video includes real footage of the laser firing along with computer simulations of it shooting down drones. This is just one example of how Dragonfire could be used in real life. Dragonfire is a major leap forward in defense technology for the UK. It's a collaborative effort between several companies, each bringing their own expertise to the table. For example, MBDA, the lead company, used its experience with missiles to develop the system's control system and targeting software. One of the key parts of Dragonfire is a special kind of laser that uses thin glass fibers to combine light from many sources into one powerful beam. Exactly how they combine these beams is a secret, but it's a big part of what makes the laser so strong. What do you think about this? Do you think China will be able to compete with the West? Let us know in the comments section.